It was a great experience. I mean, all experiences are great to me. I mean, I don't really look at this as any different than any other day that I bring up, pick up my camera and go in and try to photograph people. So this is, uh, you know, it's, it's another day in the life, but it was also another interesting day in the life to see people making granola within this industrial kitchen and all the things that it takes to um, create a safe space for special needs granologists that, uh, you know, want to work and otherwise will be sitting at home. So it was, it was a really, really interesting experience to see all these folks get together and make a product that's really wonderful and doing really well. You're just looking for their inner spirit, their their realness, their grit. Like, where is that person in you know all of this lighting and direction and uh, art direction and stuff like that? So it, it's really just trying to get to know the person as best you can before you go on camera. Try to get all of your problems solved before you get on set. You know, make sure in this particular instance it was making sure that we had enough product, that we had enough space in the room so that they would feel comfortable. And then when that was all done, it, the rest was just trying to get them into their own skin and be relaxed in the, with the props and with the, uh, the product that they were making. We're going to make a waiter out of you now. This is like waitering skill. Oh, yeah. Okay, I cool. Here, so get your... Other hand and stabilize it with that hand. Here. There you go. Just yeah. hold the front of it. So nice. Hot there we stuff go. coming through. Right, let's see. The operation's amazing. Lisa does an amazing job to, to, to even conceive of this and to execute it, you know, while having her own career and her own and she's a doctor so she has a lot on her plate and to do this out of love for her son Michael was it's you know it, it's very moving it's very moving to see one person be able to bring uh, a group of 30 40 50 yeah. people together All right, you All right, thank you. Nice. nice work thank you. there So being in the kitchen was great because Oshim was a amazing facilitator to the granologists. He really guided them through. He put the ingredients out for them so they knew exactly what they needed to do. So it wasn't, there really isn't a lot of uh, stuff outside their purview that he's not watching. So he um, basically tells them what it is, sets the environment, and then guides them through the entire process. Love Michael's a great jumping off point to start a whole bunch of new businesses using special needs uh, people. I think this is gonna be a step up for them. I mean, obviously what we're here to do is try to make this even a bigger um, company than it already is. It's great because I think this is something that could go nationwide and there could be a bunch of Love, Love Michaels all across the United States with so many special needs people being put to work and feeling like they belong in the workforce. Thank you.